Halo teman saya Ganik, video edukasi kali ini akan sedikit berbeda ya dari biasanya. Soalnya saya dan tim M Ganik dapat kesempatan yang luar biasa banget untuk berkunjung ke India buat langsung ketemu sama para petinggi-petinggi medis ahli diabetes dari berbagai negara. Dan langsung dengar sendiri ilmu terupdate terkait diabetes langsung dari para expert di Diabetes Capital of the World. Jadi di video ini saya akan sharing edukasi bareng sama salah satu pakar diabetes di India namanya Dr. Harsh. Dr. Harsh adalah seorang expert dalam diabetes care and diabetes technology yang telah mendedikasikan diri pada ilmu kesehatan diabetes sejak dari muda dengan misi untuk melayani diabetesi di seluruh dunia. Dr. Harsh udah berhasil nih membantu jutaan diabetesi dalam menangani gula darah bahkan sampai mencapai remisi diabetes. Dan Dr. Harsh dengan senang hati setuju untuk membagikan edukasi penanganan diabetes kepada para diabetesi di Indonesia terutama tentunya untuk para teman sehat Mganik melalui video ini ya. Jadi jangan di skip ya teman sehat Simak edukasi ini sampai akhir. Halo Dr. Harsh, thank you so much for inviting us uh, from Mganik team ya to India to have more knowledge and educational materials about diabetes. Uh, we are very honored to be here right now with you. And uh, can you please introduce yourself to all of the teman sehat Mganik? Hi everyone at Indonesia, uh, this is Dr. Harsh. I'm a diabetes super specialist from India. Have you any insight or knowledge about diabetes in Indonesia, doctor? I, I understand it is quite, uh, quite almost similar to India because our palates are similar. We, uh, the southern part of the country where I practice, we also eat rice, you guys also eat rice. More or less our palates are similar and genetically also the way our metabolisms are, are functional are quite quite near to in terms of the BMI, the weight related guidelines are almost similar for our our countries. Okay, uh, doctor, we uh, know that India is known as diabetes capital of the world. In Indonesia, uh, there's only two types of diabetes uh, that is familiar, uh, which is diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. Uh, then what I heard that in India, there are more than 17 types of diabetes, doctor. And is it correct? And can you share us a little bit about it? Absolutely. In fact, more than 17 types. And I'm very sure even Indonesia would have a lot of them. It's just that it's not been looked at or studied there. But see, a human body is a human body. We all have one pancreas, two kidneys, two eyes, you know, one heart, two, two lungs. So that doesn't change anywhere in the world. It's just that there will be certain variations based on our genetic structure. But all in all, uh, if I give you a little more elaboration on it, type 1 diabetes, as we all know, is where the pancreas is under the major beta cell failure. The type 2 diabetes, which is the most common in incidence, at least in India, we have more than 80% of patients who fall under the bracket of type 2 diabetes. Uh, if we go by subcategorization of type 2 diabetes, there's a variety which is called severe insulin dependent uh, type of type 2 diabetes. There's a variety called insulin resistant obese diabetes. Where there's obesity and insulin resistance as one of the triggering factors to diabetes, there's a variety where it's both. There's an insulin resistant component as well as there's an insulin deficiency component of diabetes, which is called severe insulin deficient as well as resistant diabetes, what we call as SIRD. And then we have something called mild age related diabetes, where the onset of diabetes is at a very later age of. Uh, of, of an individual and the severity is not that uh, that high but we have to remember these individuals are frail in individuals because they are in their uh, aging aspect they are mostly 60 years 65 years above towards the uh, last decades of their lives hence uh, the management truly changes in each variety of these diabetes we even have an entity called where there's a calculi which gets uh, a stone which gets uh, developed in pancreas the vibrocalculus pancreatic diabetes so the ducts in pancreas the pancreas metabolism is disrupted due to these stones and they trigger a physiological uh, function dysfunction in pa pancreas leading to in uh, reduced insulin uh, production and uh, that's that's one another variety we have fibrocalculus pancreatic diabetes we even have something called flatbush diabetes in india so flat bush diabetes is a very unique variety of diabetes where it is it is a type of diabetes where ketosis is the presenting manifestation so if not understood or identified in the right way this patient could be misdiagnosed having 
type 1 diabetes. So that is ketosis prone type 2 diabetes, something what we call as flat bush diabetes. Though incidence of, of these rarer varieties are very very low, but I would say they are not absent. It's just that we need to identify them. The list goes on and on. In fact, it, it, it becomes like a one day workshop if we just, just go on types of the diabetes. So now we are not in an era where we just look at sugars and plan and say, okay, you take these pills or you follow this lifestyle. It's become very personalized. Okay, a doctor, can you refresh us again about diabetes symptoms to educate all of the diabetics in Indonesia? So we'll go in a very simple way. Uh, the three P's, very important. We have polyphagia, polydipsia and polyuria. So polyphagia, what does it mean? Poly means increased. Phagia means hunger. So increased hunger, even when you had your healthy lunch, breakfast or dinner, you just keep on feeling hungry throughout the day. That's one point to be looking at. Polyuria, despite you not drinking too much of water, you keep on feeling to urinate more and more, increased frequency of urination. And polydipsia, despite you drinking water, you keep on feeling more and more thirsty. This is independent of your weather or, or you know, your office temperatures, your ACs or anything. You just feel deep on drinking water, water. So that's polydipsia. So polyphagia, polydipsia and polyuria, these are the three basic symptoms. But apart from that, non-healing wounds, um, some dental repeating gum infections, repeated urine tract infections. You know, you get a lot of urine infections uh, recurring through. These are all pointers where you should always look out for sugars. Uh, a very non-specific blurring in the vision. At this point also, it's good. It's always good to check it. Because there's no loss in, in checking. If you, if you discover it, it could be managed and a further complication could be averted. So these are just few basic things to look out uh, and you know, you can uh, diagnose better. Okay, doctor, can you share uh, to us about your experience in handling uh, cases of your diabetics patients? So many a times we get referred from ophthalmologists. Uh, doctors, uh, with you know, they're, they're doing a routine retina checkup. The moment they check the sugars, they are so high. Uh, HbA and C's are 12.5, 13. Many a times, the dermatologists refer us, and there are certain cases, there are dentists who refer us. There's, there are some gum infections which are non-healing, something we call as periodontitis. But many times, they check, and then the moment they check the sugars, they are on very high side, leading to serious complications possibly. So diagnosing the diabetes early is one of the crucial factors uh, which, change, which changes the course of health of an individual with diabetes. So I think it's very important to first have awareness. Through awareness you increase more of detection at early stage so that all these serious complications can be prevented. And if you end up diagnosing problems early, that's when you can actually remit it. You can even uh, possibly uh, do a remission. And uh, we've seen very positive outcomes. Coming to the serious cases of diabetes, that often happens when it's too late, where the, the, the whole uh, metabolic disorder has progressed and then it has progressed to a level that it has started to trigger organ level complications. In Indonesia, diabetes remission is not well known or well thought yet. Can you explain to us more about diabetes remission? So remission is basically a process where you work on your lifestyle to make a person with diabetes reach A1Cs as, as good as less than um, 5.7 or probably 6 with or without medicines making a person live as good as someone who is not diabetic mostly without the medication support but even if with medication the bare minimum medications this whole journey of taking someone from say higher HbA1c to a state of near normal uh, health with or without medications is what this journey is called remission again it's very much customized and individualized there's no general uh, you know one-size-fits-all approach in, in the whole journey or the process of remission. So yes, it, it is a very positive possibility, just that we have to identify the right case, right mentoring. See, medicine is all subjective. There's no one plus one equals to two in medicine. It could be one plus one equals to two. It could be one plus one equals to four, five, seven, or it could be minus one as well. So there's, there's always a, a possibility of, uh, of giving a better outcome. Okay, doctor, do you have any certain message for diabetics in Indonesia and especially for the month they have organic? Absolutely. And be aware in the right way from the right people. Because uh, nowadays, in the last few years, we have seen a lot of information vomiting, which is happening all around. So, you know, this is actually a term, information vomiting. There's a lot of unverified, unsanctioned 
information of health which is which is unfiltered which many a times lack scientific backing so it's really important who you are getting information from and what the information holds value as credibility so these are two very important aspects so awareness in the right direction with a scientific backing is the way forward that's my message to you all okay taman sahet mganik <laughs> i hope i spelled it right <laughs> very fruitful thank you for pleasure